Thanks. That's Lyle. He's right behind you. Um, <laughs> good morning. It's Will Pemble. Good morning, party people. Will Pemble. Here's where we are. It's the uh, it's the chain lift. It's done. Ish. It's still at the tippity top, and we'll like run up and get really close to it in a second. But here's what I wanted to show you first. Wait for it. See? It's the chain lift. So here's what we got done yesterday. That's the bottom sprocket there that Lyle is showing you right now. It goes up and it sits in this little tray here. Lyle and I were just discussing whether we should have a little angle iron that goes over and reaches over and keeps it in the tray. We'll find that out later. Um, you want to walk him up the hill there, Lyle? Oh God! Oh, here we <laughs> here wait. Here, let's let's uh, let's change places. No. You grab the you grab the the. Hang on. You grab the plug there. So, so here's how it's gonna work. All right, <laughs> will you, madman? All right, here it goes. So, you're coming along. You get on the chain, and now you're riding up the chain. And obviously, we can't do this all the way, but here's kind of a POV of what the chain lift. You'll see the little tabs on the side here. These are the rollback preventer tabs. Uh, that's as high up as I can get. All right. So, uh, when you get up here, this is our kooky motor assembly. Right? Pulley, pulley, pulley. Is the car on the track? No, the car is on the track. Hey, Zach, demo. Good morning. Right? So, we're gearing from 1750 down to about 25. And that's the deal. Look, there's Lyle. What a great kid. Um, if you look at, I think we saw this yesterday. I don't remember if it was live or not. But you see the little red? That's a master link there. That's how fast the thing's going to go. All right. Hang on a second. Let me get back down and hand you off to Lyle, and I'm going to show you something funny that happened. I'll tell you a funny story about what happened to me yesterday. All right, all right. First, we're gonna turn this off. Here's the super, uh, the super technical, fancy switch for the for the lift hill. All right. So here's how it went yesterday. I was on the track because I had to climb up the track to do all of the welding and hook the bits and pieces to it. So here's how I did that. I just climbed up here. And I first tacked the very bottom of these two rails, these two pieces of what I call the box. I call this the box. At the very bottom, I tacked the very bottom of the box to the, to the track. And then I climbed up because I'm a smart guy. And I thought to myself, you know, I'll start at the top and weld my way down because heat. They're not going to think you're a smart guy after this story. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so, so I do this. And as I'm climbing down, and as I'm welding away, you'll notice that these are these ties are 24 inches apart. They're almost far enough apart for the knees, but it's not comfortable. So what I did was I got down like this, and what happened was my knee would very naturally just kind of fall in between the track uh, and the side, the rail and the side of the box. So I'm welding my way down. And I get down to about, oh, here, exactly here. And what I, what I did was when I finished welding this piece of the box, I go to get up and I can't get up because what I did was I wedged my knee in between. You see, I can't push my knee through this thing, but by the time I finished welding this piece of the box together, my knee was underneath the track and so I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't get my knee out of the out of the thing and so I'm thinking all right stay cool it's all right be calm and I try to pull and no that doesn't work and I tried this and then of course the, the harder you pull on re something re retro gamer says good job <laughs> <laughs> that was so awesome <laughs> all right so I can't get my knee out and I'm thinking about a movie that I recently saw where where um, 
one of the terms was death by misadventure, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I've welded myself into my own roller coaster. I call Liz. The house is pretty far away, and the house, the walls of the house are pretty well insulated, so like you can't yell into the house very successfully here. So I reach into my pocket and I call Liz, and she doesn't answer. And then I text Liz, like, hey, can you come out here for a second? I kind of need you right now. And um, and eventually Ellie, my daughter, comes out and she says, Mom's not home. What do you want? And I'm like, Oh, could you hear me that clamp? And so I tr I put four clamps in between the. The, the box and the rail. 127 hours roller coaster edition. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. So I'm clamping and pushing and I cannot, for the freaking life of me, I cannot get this effing rail to come far enough apart. I'm like, I'm like ouch! And every time you do it, your knee hurts a little more and you're, I'm imagining it all getting puffy and everything like that. Ellie is standing there, my daughter, uh, kind of like from your point of view, and I'm like, okay, try this. And then, and then here, Lyle, well, shoot down to that, that two by four there. You see that big 10 foot two by four? I'm like, hand me that 10 foot two by four. And so I stick the two by four in between. Okay, back up here. I stick the two by four in between, and I'm trying to pry it apart that, you know, cause leverage. Uh, that didn't work either. And then I'm finally like, okay, Ellie, just, you know what? This is, none of this is gonna work. Just go get me the saw. And, uh, and Ellie's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, just get me the saw. I've had enough. <laughs> this is my 127 hours moment. <laughs> Look, Lyle's, Lyle's in hysterics. So anyway, here is the Will Pemble Memorial uh, knee break. This is my, this is my ACL. <laughs> This is my ACL incident. So I have to saw through this thing. Now, as soon as I finish sawing through it, the, the blade of the bandsaw is now also trapped in between the rails. <laughs> and, um, and then, so now the saw is hanging there. Ellie is standing there wondering why her father is a loon. And then I'm, I finally am able to push the thing apart and make my escape from, uh, from the lift hill. But, God, my knee hurts so much today. It is like bruised like bruised because I've spent a fair bit of time just trying to escape the thing. <clears throat> so anyway, this is my... Now, Liz comes home and I tell her this story. I tell her a... a heck, it might even be a longer version of this story uh, if you can imagine anything more horrifying than that. Um, so then, and Liz is like, did you go live? <laughs> I'm like, no! I was trapped inside the thing. She's like, well, it's too bad I wasn't there because if I was, if I was there, I would have just made you go live and then we would have just filmed you until you made your escape. So anyway, I'm sorry I got caught inside the track. Be careful you don't weld yourself into your own project. Don't build a boat in the basement, as they say. And also, uh, if you do, see if you can get somebody to like videotape your uh, escape because that would have been that would have been. Uh, funnier than this story. So, so anyway, that's that's the uh, there's my there's the Will Pemble ACL uh, track segment. Ow, hurt bad. Um, okay, what we're gonna do today? Uh, I'm so glad I can just leave the coaster whenever I want. What I'm gonna do today? Is it looks like rain, it looks like rain, it looks like rain. We've got most of the lift mechanism done. We've got the chain, the tray that the chain goes in. We've got the box that holds these rollback preventers. The rollback preventers are every 18 inches. I might move, I might add more, which I can do. But what I'm thinking is if I have rollback, rollback preventers every 12 inches on the cart, that means that every six inches, there'll be an opportunity to stop the cart rolling back. Um, so if we add more of these, it'll it'll probably be just because we want more clackety clackety sound going up the track. But from a safety perspective, you know, as long as you don't weld yourself into it, you're uh, you're pretty safe. Um, from a safety perspective, if it starts to roll back, you'll really be that you'll be stuck on the track and you won't roll back down. Sorry, that was that was a weak joke. Um, Wait, that was a joke. <laughs> Today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build the box. I'm gonna build the, the rollback assembly, the, the chain dog and the rollback tabs 
and that's going to be like a little a little box about this big that we're going to bolt up underneath the cart or weld up underneath the cart um, from a safe distance and and that's going to be the thing that's going to pull us up the hill any any uh so that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do today, I think. I got a couple more bits and pieces and yeah. Yeah, that's that. Let me show you a place where I'm thinking about putting a friction brake. <laughs> oh, Lyle, I forgot to tell you. Um, make sure you put on like Sneakers are good shoes. Don't come out here in slides because they might slip. I didn't think we were climbing. I'd, I've never told you that before. But. Okay. I'm thinking maybe a, like a friction break when you get up to the top of this. If we slow you down just a little bit as you come down this hill, it's still going to be a nice turn around that final hill. But you're going to be going pretty slow right here, which will make it easy for us to slow you down a little bit more so that when you come into the station, we'll be able to uh, stop you safely. So, what are the what are the comments now? Variety. Var a variety of comments, that'd uh -huh. be cool. Uh -huh. All right, uh, look, there's the lake. <laughs> That's Blue Lake. All right, uh, okay, let me, let me uh, relieve Lyle from his, his poor, torturous nightmare. Later, buddy, buddy. Look, there he goes. What's the top speed of this coaster? Just enjoy the stream, guys. Ooh, okay. All right, friction brake on a twist. Will that add complications? Yeah, probably. All right, let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> it's gonna, look, look at the clouds. Oh my gosh, it's gonna rain like crazy here. So. All right, da, da, da. Randy, enjoy your last view of my channel, my brother. Okay. Hey guys, here's the deal. We're all done for the day. Uh, well, we're all done with the video for the day. Um, thank you so much for helping me bring physics, family, and fun to kids everywhere. I will see you soon.